welcome to Student Spotlights. This is a series of recorded conversations with graduates from a range of different programs at Manchester School of Art. Uh, this is to coincide with the digital showcase celebrating the class of 2020, uh, um, which is called In Progress. I'm delighted to be joined by graduates from Interactive Arts, which is in its, final, uh, its final year. Interactive Arts is a dynamic interdisciplinary course uh, where students are engaged in working across a wide range of creative practices. Um, and I've got a, um, a series of images here of all the works um, from the students from uh, graduates from this year. Um, so welcome everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm here with Lucy, Josie, Bethan, Lauren, Babalu, and Beth and Amina. Uh, so thanks very much for joining me. Um, how are we all doing? Doing well, doing good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I guess I'll just start with a kind of very open question um, about what what's unique about studying interactive arts, and you're welcome to anyone to join in. I think interactive arts is kind of we're all different, weird, wacky shapes. Um, we don't really quite all fit into one discipline. Um, so I think our diversity kind of brings us together and the course is really focusing on like community and togetherness and you know that comes out really nicely in collaboration by doing projects with each other and I think it's a massive support network in, and it's such a small course as well that I think that really amplifies it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think just agreeing with that as well, um, the amount that your own independence is kind of um, re like really pushed rather than um, I think in other courses you sort of try to mould into, yeah, you're moulded into the idea of what an artist should be. Um, but just when you said advice you could give yourself like three years ago, um, I think I would have just said move forward with your own independence rather than like trying to be an artist. Um, interactive arts was very much about what you can bring to the table in a collaboration. So I think that made it quite unique. So, so how important was your cohort and your year? I mean, a few of you have kind of mentioned collaboration already. Um, does that come through particular projects or are you all kind of driven by this collaborative way of working? I think it depends on the person like I think that um yeah like Beth was describing really well like the uniqueness of interactive arts in like this thing of like you know you don't have to pursue what your idea of an artist is and like Beth is really interested in Reiki and has like a really amazing like Reiki practice and like kind of collaboration with um like yeah like a, a Reiki master would be as encouraged as collaboration with another artist and like I've worked a lot with like musicians and like um kind of people who think about sociology and stuff like that as well as like collaborations within the course so I think it's just like so wide in that sense but like I think for me this like this year group has been like hugely important like me and Bethan have performed together and I've learned so much from her and like, yeah, like Lou as well and the way that Lou thinks about performance has been just like such a massive, massive influence on me and like, I'd be a different person if I wasn't in this year group. Yeah, definitely. It's, since the course is like, it's quite a small course, it really does feel like we have connected very much so and it allows for also relationships I feel like and there's a sense of community like everyone's quite intimate mm -hmm. yeah I've, I've definitely felt that when I've worked with interactive arts um I, I used to kind of help uh, with the degree show spatial layout and it's something that's just so special about this course there's just this kind of intrinsic thing about supporting and learning from each other um so yeah i'm really glad that that's 
still very much um, a thing. Um, so I wonder if there's been any kind of pivotal moments um, on this course, just thinking about your own practice, um, where you found that your work's kind of shifted in a different way and how, how has that come about? Has it been through um, dialogue, you know, crits with um, the rest of your course mates or has there been, um, I don't know, it, it, like um, being introduced to some of the workshops? I think for me, um, we had the opportunity in March to um, hold like an art school um, sort of exhibition to commemorate the 27 years of interactive arts, All Good Things was the title. Um, I think the chance to get involved with that on so many different levels from like sort of curating it to designing and installing um, in a very kind of manic sort of four week period was um, a fantastic opportunity and I learned so much um, like more than I've learned in like first and second year um, and I think that moment was for me when I sort of realized like the more you put in the more you definitely get out of an experience mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely true in art school <laughs> um, so that was kind of a pivotal point for me in my practice yeah, I'd agree with Lucy. I think as well for all of us, like that was sort of a moment where we we sort of all pulled our skills together, like our different skills, because there was like people working on curating, people working on um, like the graphics side of it, people working on like uh, helping out with sort of like performances that um, the alumni artists were putting on. So it's like we really all like pulled together then. And so this was a show that kind of brought back lots of um, interactive arts alumni as well. Um, so how did you find that experience of um, uh, returning students from interactive arts um, and mixed with current cohort, what, you know, what was it like? I found it interesting because in order to do the exhibition, we had to go through everybody's proposals and it was really fun getting to see what everybody had been doing now after leaving the course because there was such a variation of like work and some people not doing art at all but instead organizing events or things like that and, and yeah it was fun getting to know everybody and it was just I thought it was just so typical as well and it just summed up for someone still on the course um how it's so different because not I don't think I noticed two alumni that were doing something even slightly similar like even though everyone's done the same course everyone just goes like just goes off in completely different directions um and even like just with a simple brief that happened with us as well so I, I just think it was interesting to see the direct, the completely different directions everyone had gone in. Um, so can you can you tell me a little bit about the the lucky bag um, that's on currently on the Interactive Arts in Progress website? Um, this is something that um, I guess we decided to do, be, like massively influenced by one of our tutors, Hazel, um, and. Well, I'm just thinking about it now, like, um, so, so Hazel makes these like lucky bags, um, which are kind of like almost like party bag style things that are filled with like kind of trinkets from her vast collection of like, yeah, strange items and badges and like really lovely things like that. And I think there's a really beautiful, um, like joy in objects in in these lucky bags um and i think that's a tradition that's like really strong on the course like literally like our first day i remember um we were asked to make like 30 multiples to be able to like bring and share with people um and yeah we had stuff like i've still got and i wear it quite often like a necklace that's got some of bethan's hair in and like i gave out like a spice mix um that was like postcards like all sorts and this idea of like this kind of like collection and like I don't know something about in, like 
realizing the meaning in objects and then kind of taking that into a digital form and having this same kind of like slightly chaotic like mix of stuff um was kind of what we were going for and I think it worked really well like people contributed so many different things like I definitely recommend going to our homepage and downloading your lucky bag um because there's all sorts of stuff from like Bailey's initiative our stories matter which is like a mental health um kind of uh support organization um and you can get like bookmarks from that um, there's like a recording of my dad talking to a spider plant that's just very sweet um, and there's like pieces of like graphic art from everyone it's just it's just really lovely excellent um, and just thinking I mean uh, we've talked a lot about the kind of support of your group um, but what what advice would you give to yourself um, thinking back to day one as a squeaky clean fresher um what would you tell yourself just don't be scared to go out and make most of everything that you have available to you like workshops and tutors who will listen to you and talk through your work and yeah, just don't be, don't be too afraid to do anything. <laughs> Make most of it. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Anyone else? Um, I think that and like, it sounds stupid, but stop thinking, because I think sometimes you just get caught in a trap of like thinking way too much about something, um, instead of like just letting it happen. Because I think in first year I tried to like have so much detail in every little thing I did and then in third year I'd be doing something for like a, a month not knowing what the meaning was going to be but just just letting something happen. So yeah, I think just stop thinking too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, experiment. Mm. Um, some of my best sort of ideas have happened by accident <laughs> and have turned out to be way better than my original idea. Um, so just be curious and try different things and don't be worried about it going wrong because it's fine if it goes wrong. <laughs> Not the end of the world. I think yeah. I'd, I'd tell myself to like trust my instincts like I think it's kind of a similar thing of like like stop thinking like um, I think I tend to get quite um, like I want to be able to explain everything kind of as it's happening when actually like it's okay to be like I had a dream once where I was buried and I just really want to do it again and like not really know why but then afterwards when I've got this like art piece of, of a performance of like being buried like the the what it means is like realized in the action and it's like realized as you do it so just trust your instincts and like go with it mm -hmm. yeah I'd say similarly like just like have fun with it because I think in first year I took everything like so seriously and I was like really like worried about everything and this year I was just like messing around with a lot of stuff and just having fun with what I was doing and I had so much more fun this year and like I think my work got better as well because you just you're enjoying what you're doing instead of worrying about it. It sounds like you guys have the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> And um, how, how do you all feel about graduating? Uh, quite nervous, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, terrified. <laughs> <laughs> but um, excited in the same way, though, because it's I'm ready for the next challenge. And I feel like I have outgrown the sort of uni environment. And I'm looking forward to, you know, something new and, you know, the world of work <laughs> and you know, see see where that takes me so yeah very scared <laughs> but excited yeah but as well realizing that it's like it's not completely over like you still yeah. got all that the networks you've made and like the sort of like artistic community in Manchester as well like is really strong and I think it's, it's not really like might not be going to uni anymore, but it's not like leaving that circle of people. 
Uh, are many of you planning on staying in Manchester? Yeah. 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 We moved in together a few days ago. <laughs> So we stay in. Nice. Yeah, I have the plan to move to Manchester to do one year and I've been here nine. Well, yeah, does anyone have any, any last things to say? Um, any final um, reflections on the course? R.I.P. Interactive Arts. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. I think that it's, it's sad that it's ending, but I think it did what it needed to do while it while it was here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, and like we always say that although the course isn't continuing, there's still interactive arts and we're still a thing because we exist outside of the course as well. We have our own network. The legacy lives on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And Hazel and the tutors are really lovely, and Jane. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a it's a real special course, and I have no doubt that Interact Arts lives on, and. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, just the kind of the the networks that you have and that support just keep keep that going, um, and especially here in Manchester, if you can, please. Um, <laughs> well, thank you all very much for um, being here and speaking to me. Um, we um, I and I look forward to the physical degree show, and I hope you'll come back and. Um, yeah, show, show your work in that. Um, but for now, we will. Um, people can check out the work from Interactive Arts on the In Progress website, along with the the lucky bag. Um, and uh, that's it for me. And thank you all very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.